Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the chi-square critical values for confidence intervals. Um, you can also use the same technique that I show you in this uh, with the table to find the critical values for a hypothesis test. So if you were working with a hypothesis test, uh, you would do the same process. Um, find the critical values for a 95% confidence interval when the sample size is 25. So the first thing that we need to know is our level of confidence. In this case, our level of confidence is 0.95 and our sample size is 25. So now we can use that to find our degrees of freedom. So our degrees of freedom for chi-square is n minus 1, so I would just do 25 minus 1, which would give us 24. So when we are going to our table, we need to know our um, we need to know our area to the uh, to the right of both of our critical values, and we need to know our degrees of freedom. So if you recall, a chi-square distribution is not symmetric. It's not the same on both sides. So when you are working with this, you do have to remember that there is a tail to the right. And so when we're finding these values, we will have a chi-square um, left value and we will have a chi-square right value. Because we have a 95% confidence interval, that tells us that 95% of our area is in between these two values. And so we, what we need to do is find the area on the outside. So basically the area on the outside is our alpha level. So alpha is really just related to our confidence level by doing one minus 0.95. And basically what's going to happen is half of our alpha is going to be here and half of our alpha is going to be here. So we would have 0 0.025 because half of 0 0.05 is 0 0.025. Okay, and we would have half of it there. And this is where you have to be careful. Uh, you have to look at your table to see what area you're looking at. So if you look at my table, they give us a right tail. So they're saying that these are the areas to the right. So alpha is the area that's shaded to the right. Um, that's why I said that this is related to the um, critical values for hypothesis tests because you're working with alpha. So the confidence intervals we're looking at, it's very similar to the two tail chi-square test. It's just with the confidence interval, we have 95% of the area in between, where with the hypothesis test, we're looking at alpha, which is on the outside, okay? So our chi-square to the left, we're looking at our area that goes all the way up, and our chi-square to the right, we're looking at the area to the right of that one. So what we need to do is we need to figure out our area all the way to the left of this one. So basically what's going to happen is we're starting here and we're looking for all the area till we stop shading up there. So I can either do 1 minus 0 0.025 or I can take that there's 95% here, 0 0.95 plus the 0 0.025. Um, either way, we can see that our area to the right is going to be 9, 0.975. So this is our area to the right. Okay. And likewise, we need to know our area to the right of the chi-square to the right side or our upper chi-square. Different textbooks use different notations, so your notation might be slightly different, but we definitely have a lower one and an upper one. Okay, so for this one, our area to the right is going to be 0 0.205. So uh, we want to identify the area to the right on this table. If you have an area to the left, these two would just be re reversed. Okay, so chi-square L and chi-square R are what we are going to find. So the two things that we need to know, and we're gonna just start with chi-square L. Um, for chi-square to the left, we are going to take this value, the 0.975, and we're gonna take this number right here, 24, and that's what we're gonna be looking for on our table. So I would find the 0.975 up here, that's going to be our um, area to the right. And then I would come down to find the 24, and I can see that it's 12.401. 
So this is 12.401, and that would be my critical value to the left. Now to find the critical value to the right, I'm going to look at the 0 0.025, and again, I'm going to use the 24. And so if I go to my table, I would find the 0 0.025, and I would come down until I found 24, and I see that it's 39.364. So these would be my critical values that I would use for my chi-square um, confidence interval. And so I would plug in the appropriate value into the formula. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.